Hey everybody, we're back in the garage working on Project Simon. Today we are going to tackle the floor pan. I'm, I'm whittling away on it. I hope I don't whittle too much of it, but uh, we're getting there. We'll bring you back whenever I get it in. Okay everybody, I got it in. It was a pain in the ass. So with this magnum panel, the hole up here doesn't line up, which makes sense because it's a magnum panel. So what I ended up doing is I just ended up trying my best to line all these up to make the profile look good. Um, I will tell you, you do have to bend this line here quite a bit because this thing is, is quite curved compared to what it comes in, in, in panel form. So you'll have to kind of like bend that thing quite a bit to get it twitch. In hindsight, I wish I would have never trimmed any of this off. I wish I would have just worked it until I got this done and then trimmed this because I ended up making a big gap here, but I think I can just either, I think I could probably just get a piece of copper behind it and actually fill that in. And then I'll have to make a panel for that. But yeah, it's in there. Next thing is I'm gonna remove it, punch some holes in it for the plug welds. I've gotta get back down here on my fender because uh, this was a little more rotted than I thought it was and it actually broke on me while I was in here. So I'm gonna have to get in here and clean this up and fix this. And then clean that up, punch some holes for the plug welds, and probably start plugging it in here by the end of the day. I gotta, I gotta put some more of those things in there, pull that up even. But uh, these were just to hold it in place right now. But uh, yeah, it looks looks better than I anticipated. It. That's for sure. That is for sure. But um, yeah, here it is. Let me let me get it out of here, clean up some spots, and. Uh, put some holes in it for some plug welds and we'll be done awesome i'll bring you back all righty guys i'm back we got that line done turned out pretty good um i'm still not the best welder in the world but i am getting better at it every every panel i do i get a little better and a little better and a little better i'm gonna be a professional when i get done but i gotta do this one yet i still ain't quite sure what i'm doing here because the gap's a little wide so I don't know if I'm going to actually try to manufacture a panel to put in there or just try to bridge it with the welds. We'll see how it goes. Then I got to do that panel there. Today we're going to finish up this floor pan. I know it's been a project, but um, I think we're going to. I had to stop yesterday and repair my uh, rotisserie because the centerpiece broke. So hopefully it'll hold up for a little bit longer. I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I actually... I actually dented this and put a little hole right there, so I'm going to do a little repair right there, which kind of sucks, but uh, hey, it is what it is. What do I expect for a $300 rotisserie? But let's get this thing welded in here and try to get all these holes patched up. I'll bring you back. Hey, hey guys, we're back. I got it all plug welded in. I got that little sliver there to do. I'm going to add an extra piece in here, weld that in. I've got to do this little section in here. All this has been back welded and double welded because I found a lot of potholes in it. I don't know if I'm actually going to grind these down or not. I think I'm going to do it from the underside, but this is going to be all covered with carpet and stuff, so I don't even think I'm going to grind those down. I might go ahead and grind this down just for aesthetics for when the carpet gets on there. It's going to actually meet correctly. But uh, yeah, next thing to do is spot weld this, put those two panels in. It's hot, it's about 100 degrees in this garage. But uh, yeah, here it is. Alrighty guys, we're back. I got this thing all in with the exception of those. I'm gonna wait and do those tomorrow because I'm wore out. Uh, welded that little piece in. Spot welder is the best thing I ever bought in my life. I found that thing on Facebook Marketplace for 60 bucks and it freaking works great. It makes my life 10 times easier. Went ahead and rust reformed all the rust around here. Um, Pretty much we're done with this floor with the exception of carving in those two little pieces right there. Then we can move on to something else. But yeah, y'all have a good night. 